Hello dear friends and welcome to my new tutorial. Today we will paint this flower with watercolor. Let me show you the materials I used for this painting. I used 100% cotton paper by Arches called Pressed 300 GSM or 140 pounds. And I used different shades of pink and green. If you don't have some of these colors in your palette, it's okay. You can replace it with other pinkish and greenish colors. So I used opera rose in some parts. Mainly I used a Rodonit Genuine. Here I used Rodonit Genuine. Here, for the dark parts, I used Perlen Violet by Schminke and, of course, mixes of these colors. For the green leaves and stems, I used Deep Sub Green, Serpentine Genuine, Azimitine Green Yellow and Sub Green. Actually, some of these colors you can mix with yellow and blue or just, for example, if you mix azimutine and paints gray, you will get color similar to serpentine. So I'm just using a lot of shades because I have a pretty big color palette. And uh, if you don't have some of these colors, it's okay. You can just use the ones you have in your palette. I'm always using uh, ceramic palettes, but you can use other plastic ones or just an ordinary plate. And always I have paper towel next to me to remove some things and colors on the paper or just dry and clean my brushes right away. And let me show you the color mixes that I will use for this painting. I will use a round brush number four and a few smaller brushes number two and double zero. I'll start by testing the colors for the flower. So I have here four light parts. Radani Genuine by Daniel Smith. For the dark parts I have Perlen Violet by Schminke. Of course we will create some mixes with these colors and with greens. But for now let's see. This one is Serpentine, genuine by Daniel Smith. And this one is Subgreen. Also, I have Aza by Van Gogh. I'm not sure that I'll be using all the colors that I picked, but let's see what mixes I can get. I also have Payne's Gray. And I have Deep Sub Green by Daniel Smith. Okay, and let's see, I will prepare a mix of Radonit and uh, maybe Aza. And 
and maybe a little bit of deep sub green I want to create a mix for painting the middle of the flower maybe more pink here yeah okay and with greens it's pretty simple I will need some mix like very yellowish and light for the darker parts I will have deep sub green and sub green and maybe a little bit of perlene violet I have two palettes because it's more convenient to not wash it all the time but just use different puddles in the palette okay something like that and maybe also Aza and Paints Grey No, oh, it's almost serpentine color. Yeah, you see like here. So if you don't have serpentine by Daniel Smith, it's okay. You can just mix paints gray and azimitin. Okay, um, I will mix some colors in the process of painting. And right now let's start. I already prepared a sketch and uh, now I will just remove these pencil lines. I have this reference in front of me, but you will also find it in the attachments to this video. And I will just remove the pencil lines with a kneadable eraser. I prepared some of the mixes on my palette and I will start maybe with a brush number four. Don't forget to clean your brush and dry it out with a paper towel before you painting because some rests of the previous color can be left on the brush belly. So I cleaned my brush and I will start with a Rodany Genuine by Daniel Smith. And with just one color, I will be covering the whole surface of the petal. And here on the edges I can add a little bit darker color because it goes under the another petal 
For the darker color, I'm using Perlene Violet by Schminke. And I'm lifting the color towards another petal that we will paint later. You can also add some dots here and blend the color on the paper. I'm taking masking liquid and I'm covering these small things inside the flower with the masking liquid. Mixing pearl and violet with a little bit of deep sub green, and I will start by covering this surface with water. I have some color on my brush, but it's okay. And with radonite and uh, pearl and violet, I will cover this part of the flower. And here it has some greenish yellowish part, so I'm adding azimitin and I'm blending the colors on the paper. Let's move to this petal behind the one that we already painted. Okay, and using just very light mix of redonite and water, I will paint this one. A bit of perlin here.
my masking liquid gets dry and I can move to this petal. I will have darker color and I add some paints gray. So I will start from here. And I will move closer to the center of the flower with dark color. I actually have some opera rose on my palette, so I decided to add it. On the top of this bud we have some greenish color, so I add some green and I'm blending it with Berlin Violet. And here I will also add some darker shade while the surface is still wet. And while this um, flower is getting dry, I will paint these leaves. They have a very yellowish middle, so I add Aza in the middle and I'm just lifting the color to all the other petals, uh, leaves, sorry. And here I want to paint it with some green. And I'm keeping the line in the middle.
I add some dips of green here. And while the surface is still wet, I can add some Perilene Violet in some parts of these leaves. I can also add a little bit of water so it will create this very interesting watercolor effect. Okay, I can move uh, to painting the flower and one petal that is left. I added some other and I think actually with opera it will be also good. And we are lifting color towards this part. Over there we have some subgreen. So I will add subgreen there. And some perilen. Here we can separate the petals. And also we have this middle of the flower with a very greenish color. So I get sub-green and I'm just coloring this middle with sub-green. Okay, for now it's done, we will leave it dry and let's paint, let's paint this leaf. I'm taking serpentine, I already have it here on my palette, if you can see. Maybe I will add some deep sub green here to make it darken. And let's start. It should be very dark here because it goes behind the other leaf.
and we can paint these ones. I'm mixing deep sub green with paint green. And they are almost the same. They're still darker than the flower. And I'm just covering it with one color mix. Okay. Now let's prepare the mix for these very light parts. I mixed deep sub green and uh, paints gray with a very big amount of water. Oh, and actually here I left some very thin line to paint it with like backside of the petal. I want to make it even lighter, so I remove some paint like that and I think I will go to paint in this part I start by covering it with water then I will have serpentine and other I'm just covering the surface and also we'll need Fairland Violet so I add it right now here like this and I start adding it here at the top and here I will add just pure red color just like on the reference Okay, right now I will paint this one and I will mix other with tips of green. And I'm just going around this other leaf that we have here. Remove some paint and add more pure other. Okay, now we will move to this part. Let's use this color that we already had for this small part and let's cover it with water first and add more paints gray, almost your paints gray.
it should be very light and let's add some rhodonite and paint this part as well a little bit of other some darker color here And I will leave it like that for now and then I will paint this part. Maybe a little bit sub green somewhere here. And let's leave it for now. Let's paint this part of the leaf. With a very light color as well. And we can also paint this leaf. Let's leave the white line in the middle. Here I will use deep sub green. And here is Erlen Violet blending with green color. Now let's make a mix of Erlen Violet and Deep Sub Green. and maybe a little bit some green and let's paint this part
some more green color here on the edge clean the brush and some darker color here When you paint something like flowers, you should check the reference all the time and to see where the darker parts, where the lighter parts, etc. And how the petals goes. Okay. I also want to add some darker shade here. Okay, now let's use serpentine and move to this petal leaf. Very land and the edge. Okay, let's move to this small petal.
okay now we can use a very light color that we have on the palette and paint these white lines in the middle of the leaves also i will take a smaller brush and with a very light mix of Rodanit, I will paint this small part. Now I'm just adding a little bit of details using the smaller brush and colors from the palette that I have. Okay, so now I remove the masking liquid from the middle of the flower and let's paint the final details on the flower. So, what do we have here? We have almost orange color. I'm using Redonit and Aza to create this color. And I'm covering these small things inside with this color. Try to make some of them darker, some of them lighter. And while they are getting dry, let's paint some dark spots inside the flower on the petal. I'm mixing pearl and violet and pink green, and I'm creating this maybe even more pearl and violet. But I think even just pure pearl and violet, just with a little of water. I can smudge them with the water
and then add even more. And I'm doing the same with these ones. And we're doing pretty much the same with the right side. And that's it. Now with a very dark color I will highlight these things inside the flower. And here in the middle we have darker green color. And I can add here also green color that will blend with beryl and violet. You can also use a very light mix of pink and go over the edges of the flower to create more visible line between the flower and the background. And I also want to add 
a little bit shadow here. And here. And I will blend it with water. Like this. And I think we are done. Thank you for joining my tutorial. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. Each week I will share new tutorials. The landscape tutorial is coming next. Share in the comments below what would you like to paint and I hope to see you in my next video.